Want to blow up your pecs? This workout will do it. All right, guys, here we are at Elite. It's Tuesday, and I cannot wait to show you this workout because I'm already done, and I know how big of a pump I had. <laughs> so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this workout. Starting a little bit different. Now, normally what you'll find is I do a hammer shrink piece or a machine chest press first, and I'll do a top set and a back off. Well, today, I wanted to go all volume with that. So we have the wide hammer shrink press. Again, if you don't have this piece, not a big deal. Do the incline, do the flat, do the one where it's laying horizontal. doesn't matter. Just pick a machine press that you connect to and feel. And then what I did was a couple warm-ups, a couple feel sets, and then my first work set was the set of 15. Then I chilled for a minute, put more weight on, did a set of 12, chilled, waited a minute, added more weight, and then I did a set of eight, stripped two plates, go to failure, strip a plate, grab the machine, and press. Now, if you notice there, I went from a pronated grip to a neutral grip, and I did this to make it heavier, and also gives me a really good, deep, nice stretch. So I like grabbing the metal with a really light weight here and doing my last set. I'm just burning them out. So I, don't really count, I didn't count the reps on that last single plate set there. I'm just going until my muscle wants to quit and scream. So again, starting here with some volume to kick off this chest workout, as opposed to the top set and back off. If you've been paying attention to my chest workouts for last year, you normally what's up next is a fly for volume. So I flipped those today. Today I did an intensity technique for flies, a second in rotation. So pec deck with a roller behind my shoulder blades to really get me a good deep stretch. And what I want to think about here is I did one feel set and then a rest pause. So failure, rest 20 seconds, failure, rest 20 seconds, failure. This felt incredible. But what you'll find doing it this way drastically limits the load you can do on the next exercise. Right, guys next up is going to be an incline dumbbell press you know it's my go-to staple if you notice i only worked up to 100 pound dumbbells because <laughs> my chest was effing rocked and that's a good thing i'm not really necessarily concerned overly concerned with weight if i'm being really honest like i had such a good connection with these hundreds that has rocked out a set to failure Rested two minutes, picked up the 70s, got a real deep stretch, pulse in the hole, and the drove goes up until I couldn't do any more either. So top set back off here of these dumbbell press, but substantially lighter than I normally would do coming off that rest pulse of the peg deck. All right, and the last thing to finish up chest here, we need a mega pump. So, chain stretch push-ups. Absolute goat, love this. John taught us stretch push-ups, and I'm adding a little wrinkle to it. I want the chains on it, so I'm getting a little progressive resistance as I press up, more chain comes off the ground, makes it harder at contraction. 
go into failure there. You know, as I keep my chin up, get a good deep stretch on every single rep, I try to open that, those pecs up. before I get into some high cable crossovers where I'm focused solely on contraction. So what I want to think about here is open my chest up and then fully shorten it with the second exercise. I did two rounds there and my chest was 100% spent. That's it for chest, guys. I can't stress you enough. Exercise selection, order, and implying intensity to the right spots is how I've managed to take my chest and make it into a strong point for me. And you know, for years and years, I used to bang away at dumbbell incline, dumbbell barbell, and I would be like, bam, 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 then machine press, and I finish with a stretch or a fly. And yes, that worked early on, but now that I'm 39 years old, my shoulder just simply can't take that beating week after week. So I've really found this new sequence for me of going machine press to fly to free weight to just mega pump works extremely well. I'm still able to progress my chest. I'm still able to grow it. I'm still getting stronger at every single lift. So if you're older or you have shoulder issues, start applying these techniques, the sequencing. The exercises don't necessarily matter, but the sequencing of them do. So like, like I said at the beginning, if you don't have this wide hammer string press, not a big deal. Sub it for the machine that you have at your gym that you feel and connect to. If you don't have ability to put a roller fly on the back of your peg deck, not a big deal. Set it up in the cable crossover. So many different options, but be able to still follow this setup and routine. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, blow up that chest.